Good afternoon, everybody. Olav here, and welcome to Let's Play Tex Murphy Overseer. Now, this is the next to last Tex Murphy game. This is the one right before the Tesla effect, but it's the one, it, it's a retelling of his first case. So it's kind of a weird position where it's like, it's, it's, it's later on, but it's the first. It, it their first the first game that they released, Mean Streets, was not anywhere like what they the the later ones that they did. So they re basically they retold it. So that's what we're going to be playing today. So let's start a new game. Uh, we're just doing it for entertainment, really. I mean, it's we're not like. Ooh, ah. Uh, so, yes, uh, Access Software Presents. So, yeah, like I said, this is kind of the, the retelling of, of Tex's first case, or at least his first case on his own. Ah, uh, look at that, uh, that, that lovely, lovely early graphics. Now, of course, this is, you know, this is after they started using, really making use of the, the full motion graphics and stuff like that. Chris Jones as Tex Murphy. Overseer. Overseer, no, Overseer. There we go, yes. Boom, boom. So we're going back to 2037. Hi, guy. Um. Okay. Shit. Somebody's been doing a little bit of acid, I think. Hi, Tex. Yeah, I think somebody's been, um... Oh, look. Yep, there you go. I... Um... Yeah. Dude's been hitting the drugs hard. Um, okay, morning, Tex. Tex? Oh, are you okay? Ah, uh, really, dude? Sit up for a minute in the camera. A classic no, is. I fall and I can't get up. Oh, come on, <laughs> Let me see that handsome face of yours. Um. Let's give her a fair I know warning. You're a strong woman, Chelsea, but even you've got your limits. Oh, so this Quit is Chelsea. I want to see the real you. All right. There you go. Okay, okay. Hope you got your smelling salts handy. Ooh, scary. You know, my brother had a mask just like that that he wore to all the Halloween parties. He Thanks! Won a prize. <laughs> you won't think it's so funny when I call you in the morning. You know, paybacks suck. You wouldn't dare. Besides really? Your age, you wouldn't even remember to do it. Ow. You probably forgot, but our date starts in exactly 12 that minutes. That hurt. Lucky for you, there is a one hour grace period. Right. Um. Thanks, Chelsea. You yeah. You're the one who really understands me. So what are we doing tonight? It's a surprise. Great. 
Uh, what do I wear? Well, it's not a formal surprise, is it? Because my tux, it's at the dry cleaners. No. No monkey suit required. Oh, thank goodness. Primate humor! Oh, good thing. My gorilla suit's ruined. I spilled a banana daiquiri all over it. I don't think I need to hear any more about that. Really? Now, Are you sure? Make yourself beautiful as quick as you can and zip on over here. I'll be waiting. So, yeah, we're kind of going backwards into him, him, him and Chelsea's uh, relationship now. Uh, sorry I'm late. Well, at least you're here. Yeah. Come on in, let me take your hat and your coat. Well, thank you. Nice you know vest. You kind of look like a princess. Well, thank you. Oh, you so smooth talker, you. With me tonight. Happy, grumpy, or dopey? <sighs> Sleepy, actually. But hey, I'll tell you what. I put on a fresh shirt. I'm wearing the tie you asked me to wear. Get a couple of drinks for me. I'm gonna perk right up, okay? Well, you look like you've been working hard. Oh, ah. man, I'm exhausted. It's just that I can't seem to get a decent night's sleep. You still having those nightmares? Yeah, pretty much. Well, I think if you kept a little bit more normal hours and you ate a decent meal every now and again, you might look and feel a lot better. That takes money, that's honey. Why we have an eight o'clock reservation at the Golden Pagoda. Oh, we know how that's gonna end. Well, yeah. <clears throat> since you got to pick the restaurant. Maybe I could be in charge of the uh, early evening entertainment. Uh, because if uh, we... Tex, honey, listen. I, I don't want you to think that I'm not interested. I am. If it's just that okay. I think that we have some things that we really need to discuss first. Such as? I just think it would be nice if our relationship could go further. What, like uh, all the way to second base? Oh. No. All I'm talking about is the ability to commit to something that has the potential to, to make us both very happy. I'm pretty sure I'm committing. It's about Sylvia, isn't it? No, and it's not about marriage. It's, it's about that one thing that, that prevents us from being close. What does Sylvia have to do with you and me? She said it didn't have anything to do with Sylvia. Okay, if you really want to know, I'll tell you. Keep in mind, six years ago, I was pretty much an idiot. The colonel had just fired me from his detective agency because I thought everything had to be done by the book. Literally. Well, being the nice Well, boss, that's not a bad I idea. I decided to go into business for myself and become a big success. As it turned out, I was about to learn some even harder lessons. There I was in my shiny new office with all the trimmings up to my ears in debt. Weeks had gone by and I was still waiting around for my first client to show up. That's not a sign of I'd success. Have more than I could handle in a big city like New San Francisco. And I was just starting to feel like a tiny bug on the windshield. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, Chelsea, you wouldn't believe it, but I had a really nice office. Let me tell you about it. Okay, there we go. So now I've got everything set up the way I want it to want it to be. Um So yeah, we have uh What is that? One thing's for sure. This isn't the only love seat in the office. No, there's see I don't know if this is a a problem with this this game and and ha and trying to run it on something more modern. But, yeah. The Murphy family dance steps and the secret of successful dance instructors will be kept here. In case I ever have to make a career change. Um, okay, there we go. So that's how to angle down right. This here is my little buddy. Your little buddy. Okay. Just manuals for the phone and fax machine, you know. A 
that the same drawer? No. Okay, it's a different drawer, but it doesn't look like there's anything in those drawers. The fact that I can see into the drawers is a little disconcerting. This is where letters of recommendation and thank yous from clients will go. Right. Oops. This letter. This letter from the colonel. Okay, what does the letter from the colonel say? Examine that. Uh, Murphy, I thought I'd write a note to wish you well on your new venture. Also, you might think I s still hate your guts for that little stunt you pulled on me with the ethics board. As it turns out, a few of my friends at the SFPD, among others, were able to help me clear things up and get my PI license reinstated. So other than the character smearing and public humiliation, everything's worked out fine. And I do still hate your guts, you ungrateful, two-faced little turd. I put a lot of trust in you, took you under my wing, showed you the ropes of the business, and for what? A knife in the back. A word of advice. Someday you're going to learn that not everything is black and white. Sometimes you have to bend the, bend the rules a little to make them work right. And even more important, never betray your friends. That kind of thing comes back to haunt you. So again, good luck running your own agency. If anyone ever needed it, it's you. And don't expect me to send business your way. I don't like seeing people waste their money. The Colonel. Alrighty then. Why do I have ever had? Why why do you have a a a clock a clockwork uh okay clockwork mouse? All right. Looks like the latest issue of Boyd's Life has arrived. What cool. What crazy Boyd is up to this month? Well, let's find oh, out. Boyd's Life, annual fishing issue. I wonder what those twins are up to this month. Okay. Yeah, like I said, there's like missing textures and stuff. I use this tape to measure my success. I don't know. I, I, I've just got to dust it off and it'll work like a charm. I don't know if it's if, if that's what it's supposed to be or anything like that. I made these vases in my high school pottery class. It's the easiest beam. So I'm trying to remember... What the, uh... Whoa, okay. Mm. When it comes to fashionable attire, I believe in quality over quantity. Right. What is that? Ah, the Royal Game of India. In my book, Parcheesi, Twister, and Ms. Pac-Man are the triumvirate of competitive gaming. Okay. Well, five oh, eight. yay! I get to play with myself. That is very selective uh, windows there, um, Tex. Are you the private investigator? Yes. Oh, that's what someone painted on the door. I'll take that as a yes. I'd like to hire you, if you're available. Well, um... It so happens that I am. What can I do for you, Ms. Linsky. But I'd prefer if you called me Sylvia. Okay, Sylvia. I'm Tex Murphy. Have a seat. I'm sorry if I disturbed your game. <sighs> well, that's all right. I was losing anyway. How do you lose when you're the only one playing? Would you like one? No, actually, there's a rumor going around that uh, those things are bad for you. Really? In 2037? Obviously, she doesn't care. <laughs> Lots of things are bad for you. That doesn't stop me from enjoying them. Bow so, chicka, uh, wow, wow. <laughs> for a PI. My father, Carl Linsky, died a week ago. I'm sorry to hear that. Right, what happened? Please think it's suicide. 
I believe they're wrong. Well, the police are usually pretty good in matters like this. I mean, I can't believe they'd make that big a mistake. My father wasn't suicidal, and I'll pay you to prove it. Well, okay. okay. Um, your father's name is... Sorry, what? Carl. Carl okay. She told you that once already, well, Tex. If we rule out the suicide, that leaves three other ways to go. I mean, it could have been an accident or uh, natural causes, or it could have been murder. The police say that they have witnesses that saw him jump off the Golden Gate Bridge. Well, I guess that rules out the first two then. So you think you're Yeah. He didn't kill himself, I know it. Okay. Well, look, if I take your case, you got to understand there's no money back guarantee. And it doesn't sound real promising. I just don't know what else to do. Who's the officer in charge? The detective's name is Eve Clements. Right. right I'll, I'll go down and I'll talk to her. We can get together later and I'll tell you what I found out. I'm staying at my father's house. Here's the address. Good boy, Tex. Yes. D look, look away. Look away from the breast. Now, look away. Up front. How much do you need? Because. I haven't got a lot. I'm running a special this week. If I decide not to take your case, there isn't going to be any charge. Mm. Thank you. You're already in debt. I'm Why not go in a bit deeper? Tax. Uh, uh, dude, just straight up staring at her ass. Apparently, Tex is a butt man. Good to know. Well, this is so promising, isn't it? Yeah, that, t that, that, that strange error that comes up. I fill my ashtray with candy in hopes that visitors will forego the dangers of smoking in favor of good, wholesome, processed sugar. Obviously, that didn't work. Ah, the royal game of India. Okay. In my book, Parcheesi, Twister, and Ms. Pac-Man are the triumvirate of competitive So gaming. we are into the game and moving on and stuff like that. Unfortunately, that's about all the time we have. Every first, like the first episode of every game tends to be just kind of like get in, get the intro and stuff like that. And then, you know, kind of get a general idea and that's about it. As always, thank you guys very much for watching and stay tuned. For more from Olav Productions. If you want to see some crazy, here we go. So me Tell you Cliffy no I've been turned into a fly through a freak transporter like accident. Like, ooh, ooh. I'll tell him, sir. Why don't you go see if you can find. Now, speaking of Cylons, they were not originally robots and cyborgs made by humans. In fact, they were a reptilian species which was bent on the